Welcome to episode 1394, Victor Vexelberg, Ukrainian, Russian, Jewish, oligarch, billionaire. Let's meet the secretive Vexelberg. At one time, he probably has four citizenship, Russian, Israel, Cypriot, and Ukrainian. His picture of Vexelberg, his wife, and two children outline of episode 1394 change mind of russian people who who really believe in the future of our country and really believe that it's russia can be on the rail to innovation as a change on the process i think listen partly we know but partly we just like to try to find the best more optimal solution start this innovation process in the center we believe it's needed the right partner it's needed the big global player who already have some experience to help us to build this bridge from idea to market he was born in 1957 in troho ussr father is jewish his mother russian an excellent student in 1979 he graduated from the moscow institute of transportation engineers with honors the most important part of his life then was he met in blavanik vesselberg was his classmate they were both born in ukraine they were both jewish and they will both become Russian oligarchs. After graduation, he worked 10 years in various state-run laboratories as researcher. Ten years. Six years, the Soviet Union had been in upheaval. The communists were losing their grip and they attempted a coup for freedom itself. Raflanik partner with Wesselberg in metal trading, first in copper, later in aluminum, and they made a fortune. The next, Bavatnik and Vesselberg put their profit from metal trading, investing in TNKBP. Well, BP here stands for British Petroleum. TNK stands for Tuman Oil Company. Here's a map of Tuman. It's actually in Siberia. In 2013, Rosneft acquired TNK BP for $55 billion. After the Rosneft deal, Viktor Vexelberg was at one time the richest man in Russia. Avanik is the richest Ukrainian in the world, and he's an American citizen now. And Pavanik, please watch episode 582 and 583 of this channel. It's a big multifaceted company that has interests in a lot of areas, energy and oil and mining. Um, uh, he's very wealthy and he was recently placed on the round of, uh, of US sanctions, the ones that were implemented just in April uh, because he was perceived to be that close to Vladimir Putin. In February 2022, Viktor Vexelberg is 64 years old, has a net worth of almost nine billion dollars. What endears Vexelberg to Vladimir Putin is that they both believe in the greatness of Russia. Since 2010, Vexelberg has donated more than one billion dollar to Skotek to build the Silicon Valley of Russia located in Moscow. Even maybe one hand a little late to start to decide this question because that's a very rich country. It's a very powerful country. A lot of the name is uh, Russia very poor today on the capability to transfer idea to market. And, uh, commercialization, how we call it, today is a very weak feature of Russian economy. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and leave your questions and comments below. My next video will be Victor Rexelberg. Nine Lessons, wishing everyone peace and prosperity.